In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to set a stop loss order for both the buy and sell side on crypto.com exchange or CDC for short. The process in this video is applicable to any coin offered on CDC. Now, if you by chance don't already have an account with CDC, I'll leave a sign up link down below. That said, let's get started. Just before that though, if you didn't already know what a stop loss order is, it's a type of order used by traders to limit their loss or lock in a profit on an existing position. Traders can control their exposure to risk by placing a stop loss order. Stop loss orders are orders with instructions to close out a position by buying or selling a security at the market when it reaches a certain price known as the stop price. That said, let's get started with how we can create one. So right now I'm on the homepage of CDC and I'll then want to go over here and click on spot. When I do, it'll bring me to the trade dashboard. After I would select the coin and trade pair that I'm interested in in putting that stop loss order in for by going over here and actually selecting the coin. But for myself, I'm interested in putting this order in for Solana, so I don't really need to do anything. Next, I'll then want to go over here to this section right over here. Now to put in a stop loss order for the buy side, I want to make sure that the buy tab is selected. And then I'll want to click over here where it says stop loss limit. I can either choose stop loss limit or stop loss market. Now, the difference is that with a limit order, you can set a maximum price at which you'll buy versus a market order, which you can't. Another thing that I wanna point out is that you'll need to be aware of the risks associated with stop loss limit orders as they can sometimes not trigger if your limit order is too close to the trigger price or if you have a market order, you may may not get a good price. This is all because of the orders on the order book at the time of placing your trades as it's all based on a queue system. But in this video though, I'll be using a stop loss market order just to keep things simple. So that said, to place a stop loss order, I want to make sure that the trigger price is higher than the current price of Solana, which we could see is about 32.65. So for the trigger price, let's just say 30 $34, so 34. Then I'll either enter in the quantity of SOL I'd like to purchase or a dollar amount in USDT that I'd like to purchase. All you need to do is enter in a number in either the quantity box or the order value box and the other will automatically change. So for example, if I'm interested in buying $50 worth of Solana, so 50, you can see that this number will get inputted automatically. And this is also true if I enter in the number here, this will automatically change. So I like what I see over here. And basically what this is saying is that if the price of Solana goes above $34, then it's automatically going to buy one Solana. So I like what I see. I'm going to click on buy Sol. And as you can see over here, it says the same thing. And I'm going to click on place order. And there you go. So I have my stop loss market order for the buy side. Now let's take a look at how we can set a stop loss order for the sell side. Now I'm going to go back up here and click on the sell tab. And I'll want to also make sure that the stop loss market order is selected. I'll then want to make sure that the trigger price is lower than the current price of Solana, which we can see is 32.68, right? So I'll want to enter in a trigger price and let's just say it's $30. Now, again, just like before, I'll enter in the quantity or the amount I'd like to buy and it will automatically change. So let's just say one Solana. And what this means is that if the price of Solana goes below $30, I'll automatically sell one Solana. Okay, so I'm going to click on sell Solana and I like what I see. So I'm going to place this order. So there you have it. I have the stop loss limit orders or rather the market orders for both the buy and sell side. So the reason why you'd want to place a stop loss order on the buy side is if you're trading a breakout on a long trade or if you're trying to reduce your losses on a short position, which you really can't do on CDC. Now for the sell side, a reason why you'd want to place a stop loss order on the sell side is if you're trading a breakout on a short trade, which you can't do on CDC, or if you're trying to reduce 
reduce your losses on a long position. So that's pretty much how you can place both a buy and sell stop loss order on CDC. Lastly, I do want to point out that because this is the spot market, you'll have to have the coins in your wallet first before you can place these orders. This is different from the futures market where you can put in orders without actually having the coins because you're using your other coins as collateral to place the trades.